Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Chicago White Sox and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the White Sox today is Jerry Nyman, whose record is 3-2 with a 2.08 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots today is Jerry Stevenson, whose record is 0-2 with a 685 ERA. Okay, uh, you know, in yesterday's game, I would say it's probably the first acceptable loss we've had all season. Uh, and I mean, what I mean by that is, uh, you know, there were no wild pitches, there were no balks, there were no errors. It was just two teams battling it out. I didn't feel like in any way the loss was manufactured uh, by the game AI. Um, it was just a game where we got beat by a better team. And that's what I appreciate. I'd love to have more of that um, and not a game where a wild pitch, a balk, or an error contributes directly to the slaughter of our team. Um, so we'll take that loss and move on to today's game where we face a left-hander, uh, Jerry Nyman. We've already faced him once. We'll take a look at him uh, momentarily. So we've got a lineup in there versus lefties, uh, which should be interesting. So let's go ahead and get started. With today's ball game, as always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. You see Jerry Stevenson looking for his first win. The current White Sox lineup is batting 216 against him. All the bullpen is available today. And here is our lineup uh, versus the lefty. We're going to give Tommy Ag the day off, get Wayne Comer in there. He's doing pretty well versus lefties this year, uh, mostly as a fourth outfielder and as a pinch hitter. Uh, Gary Sutherland is absolutely crushing lefties, um, batting 500, slugging, what, 619. Um, and the rest of our lineup is uh, all the schlubs you can handle, including Jerry McNerty in there at catcher today. Let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Chicago White Sox batting leadoff. In center field is Angel Bravo. Batting second at second base is George Orta. Batting third in left field is Carlos May. Batting cleanup, playing third base is Bill Milton. Batting fifth at first base is Bob Spence. Batting sixth in right field is Walt Williams. Batting seventh in catching is Dwayne Josephson. Batting eighth is the shortstop Rich Morales. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Jerry Nyman. And we've got a Jerry on the mound. It's Jerry Stevenson making his fifth start. He's 0-2 with a 685 ERA. 17 walks, 17 strikeouts. We don't like that at all. Opponents are batting 262 against him. His fastball tops out at 96 miles an hour. We love that. If you could just somehow control it, that would be great. Uh, ground ball percentage. I mean, he's a fly ball pitcher. Uh, call it as it is. His fastball is his best pitch, rated in 88. His sidearm curve is at 85. I mean, two great pitches, and yet his overall rating is only at 80. The 26-year-old righty is a free agent at the end of the year. And uh, because he is under a major league contract, uh, we cannot send him to the minors. We have to uh, accept him as he is or just cut him. I don't think we're going to be able to trade him. Let's take a look at our defense. Right side of the field is not particularly good. All below league average, as is our catcher, Jerry McNerty, but we appreciate what he offers defensively. And uh, Aurelio Rodriguez back at third base. We know he's good. Comer in center, not nearly as uh, potent out there as Tommy Agee. But look at the left side of the infield. It's 90 or better. That's that's what you dream of. Okay, here is uh, Angel Bravo leading off versus Jerry Stevenson. He's got a one-two count and a strikeout to start the ball game. So nicely done. I have a feeling he's going to follow that up with a walk, right? Three-two. Yeah, I mean, it's the way it goes. I mean, if he's if he's got you know 18 and 18. He's not going to get a strikeout without giving up a walk. The game has already predetermined it. Orta on first. 
Here is Carlos May. Base hit. Uh, Orta goes to third. We're going to pull the infield in. Why not? One run is going to be the difference in this ball game. As Melton flies out to the wall, Orta will score. And there was nothing we were going to be able to do to prevent that from happening. Bob Spence will take ball one as Jerry, May, I'm sorry, Carlos May steals second. His second stolen base of the year. He's two for two. Well, that would not normally happen unless the run was going to score. And yet, Stevenson strikes him out. So he does get two Ks in the first, but the walk comes back to haunt him. We go to the bottom of the first, down a run. Let's take a look at our lineup for today. Batting leadoff. In center field is Wayne Comer. Batting second at second base is Gary Sutherland. There he is. Batting third and left field is Lou Pinella. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth and right field is Bill Robinson. Batting sixth at third base is Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting seventh and catching is Jerry McNerty. And batting eighth is the shortstop, Freddie Patek. With the pitcher, Stevenson, in the ninth spot. Okay, Jerry Nyman, we've already covered him once before. He's making his sixth start of the year. 3-2, two, 208 ERA. 26 strikeouts and 39 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 210 against him. He does have a complete game. Fastball tops out at 93 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 47%. The fastball is his best pitch, rated in a, a 92. And the curveball is an 81. So there's two pitches, and they're both pretty good. Overall rated a 90. The 27-year-old lefty is arbitration eligible next year. Now, he did pitch against us on the 7th. And we got four runs on him in seven innings. Three home runs in that ball game. Uh, he walked three, struck out two, and suffered his first loss. So he has been an every other start pitcher, which would mean this is the one where he's going to get hammered. It's hammer time. Let's see how we do against him. There's the defense. This is uh, their everyday players today. So left field with May and second base with George Orta below league average. Everybody else is pretty good. Okay, Wayne Comer leading it off versus Jerry Nyman. When we don't have AG in a ball game, we don't have anybody who can lead off. Like Freddie Patek has been terrible. Um, so we went with Comer today, and he strikes out to lead off the ball game. One down. Gary Sutherland, there's his 500 batting average. Popping it up into foul ground. Two quick outs for Nyman and Lou Pinella. Struggling. He'll take a walk, though. So Pinella on first. Darren Johnson up. Johnson batting 286 against lefties and a base hit to center field. Pinella will go to third. And it's first and third for our big RBI guy, Bill Robinson. He does have a career home run against Nyman. Maybe that was in the uh, first start of the year. And a fly ball to center field. Get down. It's going to carry deep enough. That's pretty much all you're going to need to know about today's game. Uh, that walk in which he scored a run after the stolen base um, and then us not scoring so that, that's that's the ball game right there we already know how that kind of goes down Walt Williams with a ground ball to short and an error if you didn't if you needed any other evidence there you go let's see if we can get a double play with the catcher at the plate Stevenson strikes him out third K for Stevenson so he's due for another walk or two here we go Oh, he pulls the string on that sidearm curve. Two down, and the pitcher, Nyman, <laughs> rips it at the first baseman. And we get out of the micro jam. We go to the bottom of the second. Aurelio Rodriguez leading off. And he walks. 
That was a good at bat. Eight pitches. Runner on first. Here's Jerry McNertney. I mean, we could bunt here, but with these sad sacks coming up, we may as well just let McNert McNertney take a cut. That's around the horn double play. And pause it. Two at the top of the third. Angel Bravo leading off. All one count. Struck out the first time up, and he's on with a single second hit for the White Sox. He's absolutely going to be going. 1-0 count to Orta. Oh, he's not going. This plate appearance is Orta pops it up to third. Rodriguez makes the play. As I mentioned in yesterday's game, although Rodriguez did not play, he'd made three errors in five games after, you know, being um, traded over here to solidify that third base defensively. That's why the ratings mean zilch. And Bill Melton flies out to left field. We go to the bottom of the third. Jerry Stevenson will get in a bat. He's one for seven on the year. Lefty on lefty. Come on, that is so stupid. A double for our pitcher. His second career double in 108 at-bats. So dumb. Here we go. All right, good job by Comer. Hitting it to the right side. That'll get Stevenson over. They're going to pull the infield in here in the third. That is a smart, smart thing to do. Because um, that pitcher's not going to score on a fly ball, especially with the defensive arms in the outfield. Um, I mean... Well, we're going to go on contact. I don't know how to defend the infield in. If we... Just like Gary Sutherland swing away... And it's a ground ball. It's always an, it's an automatic out. So I don't know what, what to do here. Maybe it's just inevitable. Oh, ground ball at the middle. Stevenson is out of the plate. I mean, come on. I, I accept that we're going to lose. That's fine. But they don't have to continue to fuck us over, you know? Like, that's the thing that annoys me. It makes no sense. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Bob Spence leading it off, striking out. That's five Ks for Stevenson. He's only given up a run, but he's looking pretty damn good right now. Infield single. So, yeah, I mean, they've had the single stolen base, the error, infield single. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do. This is complete opposite of yesterday's game. Fourth double by Josephson. I mean, we'll pull the infield in, but again, it won't make a difference. Two runs in. All right, so we're just playing it out now. It was over in the first inning. We already knew that, but now it's just ridiculous. It doesn't matter. Now they'll give us a leadoff man, but they're not like, going to let him score. So it doesn't really much matter. Top of the fifth. Oh, there's the walk. Oh, this is the walk inning? It is the fifth inning. This is usually when he gets clobbered the most. There's the pass ball. So, yeah, this is the uh, baseball mogul bingo game.
Of course, that pass ball was a unearned run. There we go, five nothing. Well, another ridiculously terrible performance from Stevenson. He is not really useful to us other than as an innings eater now. We've had three hits before that, and one was by our pitcher. And then the pinch hitters always come in and get hits. That's the second double for Rollins. Makes no damn sense. Um, all right. Well, we'll bring in Brubes. Another infield single. Awesome. Great job, game. Brilliant. Aaron Rodriguez? Nope. Our best hitter against lefties is what, 0 for 3 now? Yeah. So these, I mean, there's been so many indicators early on. But this game is letting you know everything you need to know about losing. All right, Broob's coming back out. A double for Orda. His fifth double. And that was ball four. I don't care what that run scores. Setting up a double play and a balk. So we've passed ball and balked in runs in this game. Unbelievable. All we need now is for a fan to streak across the field. Get the trifecta of stupidity. First double of the year for McNerton. All, in games like this, all you can do is hope to accumulate stats. I mean, there's nothing else. Um, I will let Tommy Agee bat. It wasn't like he was tired. He was just giving him a day off. Okay. Which suck wad we're gonna bring in now? We're bringing um, Gladding. I don't think I've used the term suck wad in a long time. <laughs> Maybe since I was twelve. I had to go deep into the well for suck wad. That's the one good thing. It's, it allows me to ex these losses allow me to ex expand my vocabulary. I mean, all we're doing is pushing buttons. It don't matter. The game is already decided before it ever even started today. This is it. Jerry Nyman, Cy Young Award winner. Guy cannot, cannot not pitch a complete game. This is all garbage. This, this is, none of this means anything. 
That is uh, Rodriguez's first extra base hit in two years. Jerry McNerty was second on the team in RBI last year, not coming through. Walk Patek to get to the pitcher. Yeah, of course, because it's so damn dumb. With a five-run lead in the ninth inning, why wouldn't you just try to get him out? Um, do any of these guys, any of our lefties hit lefties well? No. All right, why not pinch hit Woody Woodward? That'll get everybody in. It's so stupid. I, it means nothing. That's the problem. Is it, It's just a way for the game to get stats to the batters. They didn't even take out the pitcher because the, because the next batter is out. Strikeout this, in this case. Uh, ground ball. Yeah, this game is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. What a bunch of junk. Uh, 8 and 14. What are we doing next? We're going on the road to Minnesota to play the Twins. So that'll be a new stadium to, to play in. Um, headline news. This game sucks. Read all about it. Yankees beat the Senators. That's all there is. Transactions. Don Gullet. Currently on the Giants in this game. It's gonna, he's in single A anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay, we'll pull up the box score and get out of here. That'll do it. Another loss manufactured by the game. Player of the game. Um, I mean, I hate to reward the game's uh, dumbass gameplay, but in sincerity, Woody Woodward did come in and drive in three runs with a double. Uh, we had five extra base hits that went to waste. Uh, no home runs in that game, despite in our little band box that we have. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll give it to Woody Woodward. Stevenson takes the loss. He did strike out seven. That's something to give us a little bit of hope. Brubaker and Gladding did their gerbs, and that will do it. Well, we will come back tomorrow and face the Twins. Until then, everyone, have a great day.